I think we all would have taken like that option. <laughs> we, that would, that won't say you, you want to talk about it, Kevin? <laughs> I do not want to talk about it. It would have helped all of us in, uh, at that age. Hey, uh, let's talk about a storm that's bringing valley rain and mountain okay. snow. It's going to linger tonight and even into the day tomorrow. This is up at Park City Mountain. Night skiing's underway on the payday lift. And I was just talking over to our friends in the weather station. It's crazy. There's hardly anybody there that's taking advantage of that night skiing. So kind of a quiet night up at Park City. We've had some light snow throughout the day and more snow coming tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. So let's talk a little bit about this. Alta sending this picture in. They had some really nice snow overnight and into this morning, making for a really nice powder day. It wasn't crazy deep, but six to seven inches up towards Alta. In fact, I think their 24-hour total came in at nine inches. So pretty shot coming in from Little Cottonwood Canyon. What a February. You ready for this? Salt Lake International has had 2.82 inches of precipitation so far this month. Without getting another drop, it's the wettest February in Salt Lake in 26 years. How about Bountiful? 4.23 inches of water. Wettest February in 26 years as well. And you went to lands up along the Mirror Lake Highway, three feet of snow, snowiest February in almost 30 years. So even though last year was an epic February into March for rain and snow, this year, it's even better. And it's been incredible how much water we've had and there's still more coming. We're gonna add to these totals tonight. Here's a look at Vortex, some scattered rainfall impacting Point of the Mountain, a little bit in the Salt Lake Valley, some scattered rain throughout Utah County and transitioning south, some snowfall in the mountains, Central Southern Utah is where we're dealing with a little bit of the heavier band right now. Milford to Beaver, we're seeing valley rain, snow in the mountains that stretch all the way through Hatch, Panguitch, and then rain along Highway 89 between Kanab and Big Water. St. George had some rain showers earlier, a little bit in uh, diminishing rain right now, but there is more coming. Temperatures? 40s and 50s across much of the state. Now, Logan, it's been cool, 38 there right now. Vernal's the same, but those 50s stretch all the way from Fillmore to St. George to Las Vegas, and the rain band does too. When we talk about an atmospheric river, it's that line of rain going all the way out into the Pacific. We've got a low pressure that's also helping to contribute some of that pull from the moisture in the Pacific and flinging it towards the east. Today, well, we've had rain. Tomorrow, valley rain, mountain snow. Most of the day, central Utah, southern Utah get really hit hard. It gets to northern Utah by morning and continues throughout the day. But by Thursday, Friday, it's gone. And in comes a little area of high pressure for the weekend. Here's our potential. Now through Thursday morning, a quarter to a third of an, or excuse me, a quarter to three quarters of an inch of valley rain in northern and southern valleys, eight to 14 inches of snow, northern and southern mountains, and two to four inches in the Wasatch back. Again, that's up towards Heber City, Park City, Cache Valley. It's just cold enough. It's going to be a little bit of that rain snow transition. Southern Utah, rain tomorrow for St. George, a rain snow mix in Cedar City, snowfall in the mountains, Southern Utah, stormy tomorrow. Then it's gone. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're back to some sunshine and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. In northern Utah, dealing with rain tonight and tomorrow, snow in the mountains at 8 to 14 inches on top of what we've already received. Salt Lake City will go to 46 with the rain. Seven-day forecast, rain tomorrow, gone Thursday, sun out Friday, Saturday, and temperatures get to the mid-50s for the weekend. Another storm next week, Monday, Tuesday. That one's colder. Likely it'll start as rain, but then move to snow and impact the valleys. Wow, what a month. Isn't February yeah. been great? Incredible. Yeah. Thanks. All right, JJ, playoffs. That's